Kamar looked into the mirror and wondered, hey, why my forehead is a bit darker than the rest of my face? If that's you, congratulations. Because in this video, me as a skincare professional is going to explain why your forehead looks darker than the rest of your face. But before I start my video, I want to assure you that for Indian or melanin rich skin, having a darker forehead is often pretty normal. So please don't beat yourself up if you have a darker forehead. So let's get into it. The first reason why your forehead looks darker than the rest of your face is because your forehead is the first part that hits the sun. I mean, think about it. Whenever you are driving, walking, running, swimming, the upper third part of your face is actually the one that is exposed the most. Because we have so much melanin in our skin, whenever we are exposed to sun, let alone be the forehead or the cheeks, whatever, the melanin gets higher in number because it wants to protect you. And that's why the skin gets darker than someone who has a wider skin tone and that's what we call a uv melanogenesis what is that well it's just a fancy way of saying that when your skin sees uv it tries to protect you and because we already have so much melanin in our skin the more melanin we have the more pigmentation we have and bam you get a melanin party whenever any part of your face gets exposed to the sun and in this case as your forehead is the first one to get the sun that one gets the more pigmented yes melanin rich skin doesn't get burned but hear me out it gets tan tans that happens quietly silently gradually but that is not the only reason the second reason why your forehead looks darker than the rest of your face is because your forehead has thinner skin compared to the rest of your face the skin on your forehead has less fat under it compared to the other part of your face because it is thinner in nature means that it has naturally less protection compared to the other part of your face that's why it is more prone to first uv damage it is more prone to overuse of product damage and it is also more prone to heat damage and on top of that because it's our forehead many people actually miss that part what i mean by that whenever you are putting sunscreen or moisturizer pay attention because most of the time a lot of people actually skip their forehead they put very little to no amount of product there and most of the products are coming on your cheeks and on your jaw but the forehead gets missed often first it is getting hit by the sun directly and then it is not getting enough sunscreen moisturizer protection and third because it is thinner in nature it is getting heat damage uv damage more pronounced than other parts of your face why that matters because over time the constant uv damage and constant melanin overproduction can cause the darker skin tone on your forehead if you are not paying attention besides these two reasons there is another one which is the melasma yes forehead is one of the common parts of your face that shows the appearance of melasma or pigmentation in brown skin or melanin rich skin melasma is a common issue and trust me when i say as a skincare professional i see this quite often if you are indian if you are someone who has melanin rich skin do not do these things when you have a darker forehead first do not use a harsh scrub trust me when i say if you already have some pigmentation and when you are scrubbing your face or scrubbing that part of your skin you are actually making the situation worse second do not skip spf cannot fix the pigmentation you already have but it can prevent the darkening of the pigmentation that are already there in fact it can prevent making the newer ones so spf is a must thing when you have darker skin tone third please do not use high strength peel when you have pigmentation and if you have brown skin okay hear me out a lot of brown skin do not respond nicely to higher strength of peels that's why you should only stick to lower strength of glycolic acid or salicylic acid or mandelic acid because peels can actually backfire specifically if you have melanin with skin now you might be thinking okay these are the things i shouldn't do so what i should do instead first use a brightening serum in my opinion if you use a brightening serum that has vitamin c or azelaic acid 
you are good you can use glycolic acid but please make sure that you are not using anything that is professional strength do not go for the high strength pills without any consultation and without giving a thorough thought second prioritize skin cycling yes you heard me right when you have melanin in the skin you should not use active steady doesn't matter if it's low strength doesn't matter if it's super gentle you should not use any actives daily next you should make sure that whenever you are applying spf on your entire face you are putting extra attention to your forehead always use head if you notice that your forehead gets tanned or gets darkened quickly because i have noticed for me that works super good trust me for brown skin being cautious and being aware of your skin is the first step and second step is following the protocol and now you know both of them so i'm sure you will be good to go so that's it for today i'll see you in my next video until then ciao